Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers, Anatomists and Stronghold mod. Last time we took out the God of Winters, the EG Rock itself. Well, Colgan did, and he will now be known as the God Slayer. Or another name that he's slowly getting and starting to call in Discord, which, uh, you know, it might stick, it might not. Uh, I guess that depends on the will of the people. Uh, other than that, we did fight a few famed car famed champion people, but it was mostly famed shield, which is a bit crap. Albertus, you now have the Forebearer's Edge, because you didn't want to try you did want to try that. Centurious, I fed you the EG Rock potion as well. There's a few other things here and there that I need to do with some characters, like Colga, I need to keep an eye out for a regular cleaver just to bat off your fatigue back to normal a little bit. Um Coat of Scales doesn't so Coat of Scales is minus 38. Yours is minus 40, so it doesn't really save you 10 fatigue. But the next piece of famed armor that comes along, I don't mind giving it to you, I suppose, because we have sort of said that that's an issue. Um, also, Darth, you do have a famed shield. It is sort of black or very, very dark gray. But what I'm going to do today, I've been to Care Bottom back already, so I've sold all our stuff off for a decent amount of money. I do want to get to over 20 grand so I can get the old, uh, the big shag wagon, as it were. So we need to do we need to upgrade this big boy and anything I can do to get these guys to allies so I can get the agents. But I am tired of these guys being on my lawn. I'm not a big fan of undead fights, but I just want them gone from here. So let's get rid of them, shall we? Uh can someone tell me why I'm doing this fight again? I kind of forgot on the way here. I know it's to clear up, but man. Undead fights. What can I say? Everything that I want to say about them I've already said about a million times. Well, I tried to bring the people who have the higher morale of everyone in the group, but, uh, I mean, there's only about four people who have morale higher than 70. You have to go down that way, aren't you? Um, one is Poker, obviously, because he's the banner man. One is Nehemiah, wherever, is he, wherever he's gone. There he is. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising to see that he's, like, an Inquisitor, as you could say. Four guys, it's not so bad. I think Breeze is in range to do the old rooty shooty at the Necromancer's booty. Here's hoping. Do I risk just blocking him off? No, I don't. 53. 53. He's almost dead. Not that he really uses his hands anyway, he just uses his apparently insane fatigue to keep bringing people back from the dead. Once again, it should be more tiring to bring people back from the dead. <laughs> I keep saying it. Forever. And ever if I have to. Shoot the geists? Now oh, you never know, do you? There was that one time we killed one with a bow. It was pretty cool. Okay, well. I do not like the amount of fallen heroes that there is. Especially with flails. How many fallen heroes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Do I, do I see... Do I read seven? I think I read seven. Which is not a small amount, let me tell thee. At least he's almost dead. Kill him. Thank you. Right then. One problem down. Now it's the Geists. Who are, to be fair, always a problem. Survive the... Mm. That's another thing as well. It's like... It's not even like... A, it, sometimes it goes straight from... Being normal to running away. Instead of just like... Getting there? I don't know. Once again, just my opinion, man. Oh, you terror, bro. Come on. I guess I kind of need to get him out, but I don't really know. Oh, there. Ah, uh, kind of. It's not perfect. We are still very much surrounded. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, God, here come the flailmen. Hopefully to fail, man. Put shield up. 16% sucks. Alright, well. Could you do me a favor and come back? Why is there so many fallen heroes in the middle line, man? That is a bit wild. 
Unnecessary. If we don't kill, like, two guys in this next, ro like, round, then I think we're a teeny tiny bit screwed. Honestly. Because they really are coming in now. And there's a lot of fallen heroes who could prove some genuine damage to us. Mainly because there's three people with two-handed flails, which is crazy. But it's that many of them. Oh, look who's back. Nice one. Okay. There's one. Maybe don't shoot him. That's fine. Uh, who's almost dead? Technically you. Uh, that one. Could you give him, like, a... Could you just give him a break? Just give him a break. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, I guess old first. Even Poker's thinking about it. What is this? Well, at least he killed one of his own guys. That's Summit. Okay, well, everyone's sort of back, I guess. Right, recover. Swing. Who's almost... You are. Well, Alberta's good thing you're a tank, so you can take that on at least. Okay, everyone's still sticking with it, just. On guard. On guard? Yeah, I do like that. Okay, everybody. Hmm. Not quite. Oh, that was a 70% miss! Oh, you're out of ammo. I was like, what's going on? That's why. Sorry. Okay, everyone's back except Albertus. Fortunately, with Albertus, he's literally a tank of a man, so even if they keep stabbing him for a bit, he's probably going to be okay. Not that that's, you know, reason enough, but hey, I'll take it. Right, the two flails are stunned up there. There's another flail down there, which I'm worried about. He did just almost kill his friend, though, so there is that. Yep, stunned, fine. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about Nehemiah, slightly. Come on, buddy, come back. Don't don't run. There's no needs. Okay, Auric. Beautiful. Okay. Ah, less beautiful. To be expected, let's be honest. Oh, come on. Uh, that one. And then, why not? No, that's why not. We can't have nice things around here. Oh, yes, we can. Ho, ho, ho. That was like turning around and just stabbing it and being like, rest in pieces. Very cool. Uh, which one's going? Mm, all right. I don't like any of those options, I'll have you know. Do you like that option? Okay. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. But damn, was it a hard forward light to get there. Bro, just go down. Same to you. Oh, well, there's, a tier, there's a tier free cleaver there, which uh, I could give to you because you want your fatigue to go down a little bit. So that could work. Uh, kill it. Or like ghost killer, or geist killer, should I say? You kill like three of them, if not more. And that was a lot of like twenty-two percent. All right, well, I'm glad that worked out. God, everyone needs to recover their fatigue. So much so. It could have worked. It didn't, but it could have worked. Alright, well, um, I guess 
stand there to help with the old... God, that was neat. Getting her own... They're getting her own back now for all these 22% chances I've been hitting them with. No. <laughs> I guess... I guess that's fair. Right, you're stunned again. Great. Dolly's head got popped right off. Alright, he's back. He's gone. Or she. Could be either. Okay. Alright. Now it's just kind of cleanup time. Which is more than fine. Nice! I am I'm enjoying using that. It has to be said. I don't really want to put you near that. I don't really want to put anyone near that. Really? Can you stun again? Oh, you're too tired. Uh-oh. That could be bad. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Someone might be in danger. At least our boy Centurius can't run away. Go on, who's getting back up again? And um, Mr. Definitely Headless Nick. Once again, another reference to something that I don't understand why I reference all the time, because I don't really know that much about it. Oh, Nehemiah, look at that. Look of superiority. Rut row. Rut row. Woo hoo hoo! Good dodge terror. Oh, you're knackered. I mean, it's completely understandable why. Oh, we made it. Uh, but at what cost? I mean, technically no cost. We all survived. Um, oh, well, I had to say something out loud, didn't I? Bloody hell. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. It was a right pain in my dick. Shut up. Words. Thank you. Kill that one, please. Oh man, that was a slog. That was an unnecessary slog. That's my uh, that's my undead fight for the day. So I'm not doing another one, unless it's amazing. Sick. We got the cleaver, so I can give that to Colgan and so see if he can come back a bit more. Uh, and I guess we'll just sell all the flails and stuff. But uh, yeah, there's some crowns, but worth it. Hmm, I'm in very much two minds. Let's see how much money's left at Careboard. I mean, I'm glad it's gone. I'm glad we did it. Oh, boy. I suppose it had to happen eventually. Uh, so I'm just sort of doing a few odd jobs here and there, because a lot of the noble contracts have sort of dried up a bit. Um, even though I am trying to get to friendly with uh, Grimmon, but we'll guess we'll see what happens. But a few brothers come to you looking rather worried. They say Valny has been sitting with Pixel for a few hours now. When you ask what's the worry, they remind you that the cultist has a scarred forehead and speaks of incredibly strange things. Ah, right. You go and see the two men. Pixel looks up at you, smiling, and says the cultist actually has a lot to teach him. Grimacing, you wonder if you should put a stop to these lessons. Well, I put a stop to it last time, and to be fair, I did say to Valny that if he keeps keeps up with doing a good job and survives, I will let him do one person. So, go on then. Do as you wish, as long as you don't forget what I hired you to do. You nod and turn away. The rest of the brothers shake their heads. By next morning, Pixel is found with a fresh wound on his forehead, the blood of conversion. When you ask how he is doing, he only says a few words. Daphical is coming. Well, great. Suit yourself. On the plus side, Valny got uh, plus two resolve, uh, which is great. What was, it? what was his resolve anyway? 53. So, yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, what, what about you, Pixel? 30. A <laughs> He's a faint-hearted cultist. I don't think it's made much of a difference to him. Okay, fine. Well, I'm just going to quickly go and get this handed in. It's like 500 crowns. It's literally nothing. It was just busybody work to keep me going whilst I found something else. Come on, give me an actual contract, bro. What's this? Oh, there's no point doing that. There's just no point doing that. I suppose there is some point doing it, just to make a quick buck, but, man. There's nothing at Eichholz. There's nothing at Gemenberg. I guess I could go, like, I could go walk around the north for a bit. I kind of do want to go down to the south. I know a few people said that they want me to go down to the south as well. And I was actually thinking about when I'm going to do a sunken library. I looked at the last series, and it was, like, episode 39? And this is, like, episode 32. So we're kind of getting... Close to that time, although I suppose we're doing to go kill some goblins as well, which 
I'm not really feeling this very second, but we'll uh, we'll see what comes today. I just want to make loads of money and have loads of fun. I've also noticed a bit of a weird bug with the food. So you'll notice it says 271 and it normally drops quite a bit, like progressively drops. But with the food that you pick up at Care Board, or I suppose any fort in the game that you build yourself, it just comes off as like a lump sum. It's, it's a bit weird, but it, it's still fine. It still works. It's just a bit strange. Anyway, let's go find an actual moneymaker of a contract. Or, you know, somewhere worth blasting into. Absolutely blasting into. I mean, I guess I'll show this off a bit just because it's some of the lesser seen guys, I guess. Jeez, Savarg, you're such a... You're a menace to society. Absolutely. And his melee defense is bloody awful, wouldn't you know? But he's, uh, he loves it. He loves a bit of it, doesn't he? Although they don't seem too fussed about, you know, just jumping in there. So, let's go do it for them, I guess. Uh, this, to say that I said it was crap, and a lot of us sort of agree that this was kind of crap. Um, it wasn't too bad in that undead fight, to be fair. So, I guess we'll just stick at it. And see what happens. That might bait them. Uh, Demonics, you go that way. you now got the smaller cleavers. So I think you're... I think, you've, I think it saved you, like, five fatigue. Um, I'll see what do about the old, uh, I'll wait for that one. Armor. Maybe, maybe we find some, like, actually decent fame stuff today, that'd be nice. I'm, I'm still a bit sad that we went down to the south during a, another contract, and there was a tournament on. Like, of course that happened. Um, that's the good thing about having the agent as well, because you can be all the way up here, but know there is a tournament happening down below. Yeah. Try harder. Not what I meant. Yeah, hey, that upset as well, to be fair. I was like, ooh, all right. There you go. On guard. Goodbye. Ow? Really? Well, I guess, uh, once again. No. No. Bloody hell, Alwyn. It's just a little brigand raider with a spear, buddy. Come on, you could do it. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I do like seeing the new guys and seeing their, like, growth patterns. You know, seeing how they're progressing. It's just, it's cool. There's also a bit more, um... Really? This guy's an OG. Not for long. There's just a bit more risk to it as well, because they're not quite at the level of everyone else, so... You know, you never know what's going to quite happen. So I'll try and not bring these guys in. If anything, I'll just help them, you know, surround. Okay, slightly newer guys and lower level guys, which, to be fair, I think... Uh, putting them in care bod did level them up slightly. He didn't, like, fully level them up by any means. Rude. But it did get them so close to leveling up, but from this fight, I think we're going to have, like, three people who level up, maybe? Maybe. Jerry's a bit out on that, so don't don't quote me on that one. That doesn't happen. Ooh, you should have aimed for the head. Gonna regret that one. I mean, eventually, anyway. Oh, wow. He had a beard under that. Not anymore. <laughs> you are lucky. Come on, show him what's, what's done. Shit, it's broken the shield. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Bloody hell. Even against brigands. What are we doing? What are we doing? Eh? It's all right, new kids. You'll get better. You've already gotten way better than you were really before. So, see? You know what? Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. I do like that move. I like it a lot. I keep saying I like it a lot, but just to reiterate, I like it a lot. Rude. Ooh, that, that, to be fair, that was rude. Come on, new person. I am pissing through armor, technically. 
But uh, I do want you to get some kills, guys. Come on. There you God, that was brutal. Well, there you go. That, that one is dead. Can confirm. Okay, I guess you're not going anywhere. Okay, new people. Seal the ill. Yeah. You're not new. You seal the deal. Let's yeah, all right. Uh, well, okay, well, Nehemiah and Pixel leveled up. I'm pretty sure Avog and maybe Bigler are kind of close as well. But uh, four kills to Nehemiah is pretty good, and Avog got three as well. We've got some serious duelists coming up. Um, cool. Well, if I do any more fights like that, I'll probably just leave them, because, you know, they're just brigand fights. Although, those brigands did got some lucky shots in. Like, surprisingly lucky shots in. Let's have a look at you, Pixel, eh? Take a 71. I'll take a 15. Uh, ooh, plus 5. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Um, we've got bows. We've got quick range of that. I'll go nimble. Nimble's easy. Nimble's kind of an obvious choice. Nehemiah. 80, 85 at level 8 is crazy. Oh, and a plus 3. Finally. Decent. Uh, and I will give you a... No, can't say no to a plus 5. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Um, and I will check your sheet in a sec and upgrade you because I can't... Switch out, switching at the same time, so back in a sec. Oh, well, I mean, it is. I've noticed that you've got footwork on your, like, plan in the Discord. I'm not sure due to being able to, you know, on guard everyone. I don't know if you're really going to need it. I mean, that's just sort of, like, my two my two cents. I mean, feel free other people to weigh in. By using a rapier, do you really need footwork? Because you can just utilize the ability to effectively give yourself footwork? Yeah, let's see. Let me let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Here's an intro. It's not really a build I've done before, so it's uh, it's interesting to see. Still no noble contracts, right? I'm gonna go find noble contracts then. Back in a second. All right, saddle up, fellas. I've been walking around the map for a while, and I've finally found a sort of semi-decent uh, contract. Say semi-decent. Oh wait, are we for are we stuck with these guys? Can we at least stop on the way there? I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't realize I I was locked in with this group. I thought at least I was going to be able to walk there myself. Oh, man. That means the money's actually not that great. It's a good thing I built that roads. All the roads will re lead to Gemenberg. Um, but I was going to pick up some tools because I've got no tools, man. I need them. If I'm gonna, especially if I'm going to break the Greenskin Siege. Jeez. All right. Well, long story short, the map sees being a bit crap for noble contracts. Well, noble contracts. Oh, no. Oh, no. You find Colgan nursing a rather large tankard next to a fire. In fact, it's not a tankard at all, but a wooden bucket filled with ale. A few more modest mugs are littered about his feet. He tips back, gulping from the bucket's lip. When he sees you, he tries to dress up, selling the foam off his face and attempting a smile that quickly sloops into a drunken frown. Hey there, Captain. Didn't mean for you to see me like this. You set yourself down by the man and ask how he is doing. Being drunk. Nodding. You reach for the bucket and the man gives it up, though his hand is a shaped as if to be still holding it. You set the bucket down and ask again how he is doing. He finally drops his guard. Sorry, he finally drops his hands into the, his lap and probably his guard. Like shit, that's how I'm feeling. First, Elia and Steel went down, then Eris the short fuse. I know there's been at least five or six others, just dead men. Come and gone. I got memories of them talking and memories of them screaming, and I can't have one without the other. And I'm alright now, because right now I can't even think straight. If I can't unlearn a memory, I'll just go ahead and drown it. The ale does me well, eh? With a sigh, you hand the bucket back to the man. Eyes lost in the fire, his mind lost in the past. He says nothing else. To absent friends. Damn. Well, that kind of cut through what I was about to say. Well, that's just sad. Man, well, what I was going to say was... Um, the contracts for noble houses, especially Grimmond, have been absolute dog shit for like the past week whilst I've been walking around. Uh, and so much so that we have dropped into the neutral zone instead of the very cool open or friendly zone. Not friend zone, friendly zone. Um, almost like they're trying not to be our friends. They just want to kind of like hold us on there, wait until we go back to neutral and then give us one contract, and then wait until we go back to neutral and then give us one more contract. You don't play the knob, you don't play the chodes like that. Not at all. That was a Freudian slip. Um, so I'm going to do this contract, and then we'll see. But if they don't give us another one after this, they can honestly get sacked. We'll go do something else. 
because I'm not willing to give them more of the chode's time, because there are better things for them to do. Alright. Oh, well, thanks for bringing me here, but you could have let me get some tools first, you massive dickhead. Um, why is it so bloody dark? Oh, we're spawning in a really weird way. Well, Jimothy, it's time for the true test. Hold fast, or expire. Oh, look at Mr. Siege Engine over here, eh? That's not his actual name, don't worry. Can I... I can, weirdly enough. Alright, come on, get involved. Let's go. Here come all the wolf riders. Who are probably just going to circle around us for about 17 years and then make it forever. When I was walking to the old uh, siege equipment, I saw a lot of green skin groups coming. So, uh, this could be mighty crazy. At the very least, they are not getting... They are not sieging today. Oh, no, no. Right, get Brecken. You do you. Right. Not a bad start. Here come the Wolf Riders. I assume the Siege Engines count as an enemy, I guess. Well, they all kind of came out of nowhere. That's probably fine. Maybe move back a bit. Oh my... Olwyn, what are you doing? At least you didn't miss a stationary object. There's that. Oh, destroying our siege engine makes them sad, does it? Alright. I remember that. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have given up the high ground. It's fine. What? What? You missed the capital? <laughs> you missed the capital! Oh, man, that's kind of funny. <laughs> you can't make that up. <laughs> oh, dear. Can you go there and slice them both? You can slice them both. Uh, Jimothy? Might have signed Jimothy's death warrant. Saying, but I should be able to get someone up there to help him. Oh, yeah. New guys stick together. That's unfortunate. Running. Perfection. Up you go. That's fine as it is. Okay. I'll accept the cheeky stab, knowing that you will die this turn. Hopefully. I mean, of course they're going to go for the ranged. Why wouldn't they? They know what they're like. And we know what they're like. Good dodge. Great dodge. Fantastic. The rhythm is truly infectious today. Uh, hold that thought. Blast them. <sighs> Looked painful, didn't it? Oh, come on. Alwyn? That's the third 95% chance miss you've done, buddy. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to read too much into it, though. That looks painful. Uh, you two. Out of the gene pool. And yeah, you as well. And you. And you. I mean, that was a stationary catapult, but out of the gene pool all the same. I'll have you know. 11 to go. 10. 9. Come on, game. Technically, I'm calling that three shots, three kills. Even if my... PC decided to click onto a, uh, a comment that just appeared on the channel, so it took me out of the screen for a second there. <laughs> right. Let's seal the deal, shall we? I think that wolf by himself has done more damage than the uh, 
the green skin that was riding it. That was weird. All right, well, you do you. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that to him, I think. I'll let him have that one. Die, die. No, oh, no, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Let's <laughs> see. Come on. Not today, green skin. Hey, Jim, if he got it. He certainly got it. Good job. Hmm. Go for broke for a third one, maybe. Well, he, he certainly held fast. He certainly did not, and he certainly did not expire. Great job. I think, yeah. I was like, oh, where's the, oh, it's gone. It's gone. You've killed that one, great job. That's the Berserker dead. Ooh. I mean, it is over, we're all dead. What more do you want? Not only did you survive, Jimothy, but you thrived. Yeah, I'll take you strange meat. Why not? Tools, I need those. Uh, yeah, so there's like two greenskin hordes just battering down. But technically the siege is done. Like, I fixed that, kind of. Um, who's here? I'm noticing that there's no um, warriors, which I am quite happy about. Let's see if they split or not. Oh no, this is going to be hell, isn't it? Come on, then. I feel like this is going to be a skippy fight. It's from... There is... <laughs> there's 69 enemy. Well, enemies and allies. There's 69 of us on the field. All right, 68. Ruin my joke game. They do seem to be either breaking through their ranks, or they've just spawned a different area. I mean, Eve Roar is fine. Um, I'm pretty sure someone has died. <laughs> I'm sure that was a Berserker killing an Arbalist, but hey. Well, it's 32 32, and uh, there is a lot of Berserkers. Like, there's a lot of Berserkers kicking about. Um, I can't tell how the other team is doing, per se, but I'm, I'm sure they're fine. Or as, you know, fine as they can be. Maybe not that guy. Oh, they might have a problem. No, that, that, that did sound like a human dying, to be fair. But I can only I can only do so much. Look, I only got I only got high to do so much. Okay, it's it's staying pretty even Stevens. Pretty even Stevens. I guess we are like some conglomerates surrounded here, I guess. Well I can't really do much down there, so I guess I'll just leave that alone. Ah, there we go, we're in the lead. I mean, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna stay at this hill. Like, there's, there's no reason not to stay at this hill. Sure, if he's a little bit poisoned because they saw him as a prime target, as you know, he would, because that's how it goes, unfortunately. That's fine. I can work it out. Nope, oh, he's cheesing it. He is. Well, he's never going back up again. Also, I've noticed with Corgan being a drunkard, it actually doesn't affect him too badly because he lost five melee skill, but his melee skill was so good. It doesn't really matter too much. He just does more damage and has more resolve now. So maybe being a drunkard for Colgan isn't so bad? I don't know. See what he thinks, I guess. It's kind of up to him. I mean, I, I can't do anything about it unless the uh, event happens where I can stop him from being a drunkard, but I guess we'll see. What a weird turn of events. Man, this is way closer than I thought it was going to be. Not that I'm trying to play both sides here, but... I thought we were going to take, like, quite an easy lead, but we're, uh, we're really not taking an easy lead at all. On top of that, these, uh, berserkers are coming thick and fast around this corner. And I mean thick and fast. So we're going to have to be really goddamn careful about what we're about to do. Get in there, I guess. Why not, at this point? I was going to hold the hill, but... Oh, there we go. That's better. It's starting to drop, drop like flies now. Uh, Jimothy, me old mucker, get in the grass for a bit, will you? Stand there in preparation. Uh, maybe also stand there in preparation. 
Corgan's on a warpath. I mean, after the last event, I am not surprised he is an angry man. He's probably also pretty inebriated, so he probably doesn't really care about his, uh, well, this. And they, all, they also seem to be running. Like, a lot of them are just choosing it. My preferred state of green skin, choosing it. All right, we wait, and we'll see what happens. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. They are still slowly crawling around. Yeah, classic berserkers sneaking around the back passage. Don't you dare roll under a five. I will slay you. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Well, now there's only 18 of them. And one, two, three, four, five of them that I can see. I think five are running. Or, you know, generally dying. Uh, switcheroo. Bloody hell. You know what? I've actually grown to actually like that weapon a bit. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I am scared for that, though. That thing scares me. Get in there! Go on, our, go on, our kid. Go on, my son. Go get some kills. Don't get killed. Oh, God. All that I had to take was hitting him, and we lose one person, and then that would have been it. Man. Yeah, I think this is resolved. I think it's safe to say. That. I am not a fan of that happening a lot. Come on now, someone make him run. Don't want to deal with that in our lives, not today. Oh, sorry. It was definitely worth it. Alright, cool. Right. Just cutting through these wheat fields of pointless green skins. Well, to be fair then, we only lost like, what, three guys? Compared to their 36? I mean, they're not all dead yet, but they will be. See? Oh, no, don't. Oh, thank you, Albus. Thank you. I guess just chase him, but there's not really much else left to go on. There's what? One, two, three, four? There's a fifth one somewhere. All right, fine. There's a fourth one somewhere. He might be the only one to survive. Uh, well, uh, don't shoot me, buddy. Ah, uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, that wasn't actually as cumbersome as I thought it was going to be. I thought that fight was going to take forever, but it was actually quite nippy, I think. Cool. We got some food, we got some tools. We didn't really take all that much damage, either. Wait, it's not over. But we killed loads of them. What more do you want from me? Oh, no. Yeah, all right. I was just being a bit too, like, impatient on that one, I guess. Uh, yeah, fine. I'll take the tools. Many have lost their lives. Us, on the other hand, we did not lose our lives. Um, I'll sell that stuff at Careboard. The only thing is, I'm not going to go all the way back to Eidsvik. Ugh. All right. Fine. I'll see if there's another... Noble contract there, and if there is, well, we'll see what it is. If there isn't, then screw it. I think I'll just go on a bit of an adventure, because... Saying that, I do want to get to 20k, and we are kind of close to 20k. Okay, we're now 800 less close to 20k. <laughs> so by the time I get back up there, we'll be on 17, plus whatever's at Careboard currently. What's going on there? Hmm. Interesting. Wouldn't mind finding some more Barbarian champions. They have some cool stuff. Or, or brigand champions, they have stuff that we could really use. It's all dependent, really. Alright, woohoo, we're actually on 20k. Um, depends how close this is. Uh, that's, yeah, I guess. Are we open again? We're back to being open. Great. That's something, but uh, I am so close to making the money as well, I guess. What's this? 
Drive off barbarians, yurts of the free folk. I mean, that's a nice break from killing greenskins, I guess. I mean, they're just greenskins, but humans. Let's be honest. But they're way cooler, uh, in my opinion. And everyone else's opinion. Uh, I don't know. I might go and, like, just travel out. I guess that's Reaver's base camp. Interesting. I might see if I can go find, like, a barbarian champion. That could be quite fun to kill. Mainly because of their armor or, I suppose, weapons as well. Um, and go from there. I mean, I guess I could go destroy this, but that's an undead place. And I already said, only one undead fight today. No others. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward. But, you know, our rules haven't been exactly fantastic today. <laughs> That was pretty damn good, though. I'll give you that. And also, to be fair, we did kill the geists. Orek killed those geists with some beautiful displays of rolling. So, I guess we're paying for those, because they were all, like, 22%, and he hit, like, three of them in a row. So now we're paying... We're paying the piper in that regard. I guess. Huh. Maybe not as badly as I thought, though. One down. Methinks... Oh. It's like wind just passed. That's what that sounded like. Hello! Oh. Better. I don't know if I want to risk you there just yet, to be quite frank. You're gonna die. That's cool. Right, you're running! Perfection. Get slapped. Let's see what that guy does. I'm really not sure. Oh, God. Every time, he had a big whoosh. Oh, how's uh, dying on the floor working out for you, buddy? Probably not great, I assume. Uh, who's next? Mm, okay, and you. Then it's you. Let's see if I can overwhelm that one a bit. I trust Terra will be just okay. Oh, that was actually quite close. Terra's got a decent melee defense for a two-handed man. I think he's got like a 40. I think. I could be completely wrong. I will have to I will have to consult. But I think I'm right. Let's have a look. 41! Yeah, it's pretty good. It's actually for a 200 melee character, that's damn good. Damn good. I don't know where you're going. Oh, lordy Lou. I know you're a drunkard, but come on, you can still hit stuff. I think. Still got like 90% in the tank. Ow. Nope. Nope. It feels like it's not, not dragging. It feels like it's going a bit at a slower pace. Mainly because that keeps happening. There you go. I don't know what you guys want, but it's not going to work out. Oh, God. All right, then. Mm, not so much. <laughs> right, he's off. I think... I think we're okay. Where are you gonna go? You, you go up there, you go up there. I'll put you in, in a second, champ. Oh, god damn it. Well, on the plus side, he regenerates, so if anything, they're hitting the wrong person. Huh. I expected them to have a bit more goal than that, but he's just running. What a scumbag. Mm. <sighs> oh, well. I mean, not everyone's doing great in that regard. Oh, Die Fury. You know what? Say it back. Die Fury is hitting quite a lot. And so is Centurious. And so is Colgan. Sometimes Centurious. He's gone. He's left his mates to die. Weak. Well, I'd say we are... Well, unless I can shoot him. It's too snowy. Seal it. 
with flavor? Oh, he's stunned anyway, so he's not going anywhere. He's, he's a dead man. He's a dead man walking. Someone just, just put him out of his misery. Just, just put him out of his misery. He's definitely off the map. No? No, you want to kill this man? What was that? Wow, okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore that happened. Please, somebody. I mean, that was kind of like revenge. Yeah, I got some furs, I got a bit of money, so actually, and I got some fox furs, so. Eh, that could have been much worse. Hmm, no, bye bye. Uh, I mean, I kind of do want to go and keep going out and just like go to somewhere else and see if. I mean, that looks very famed item worthy. How's my stuff going? I might go hand this in. I might go see what's up there. I am I am very curious. Although well, I did say I didn't want to do any undead stuff. I walked in here not knowing what to expect, and we are here with four armored on holds. Now, these two aren't too bad. It's these two which are the real problem. I need to find out where the Beastmasters are. See, this is kind of far from the civilization, but it's not like as it's you know, it's a relative distance. But the rest of them are kind of like thralls, so. If I can kill, maybe, if I can kill the Beastmasters, like, right here, right now, the Unholds might just kill the Thralls for me. Do me an absolute solid. Kind of like that. Except, uh, that did not work out, unfortunately. I mean, did almost kill one of those instantaneously. Ooh, I just don't know. God, the snow's gonna kill me, isn't it? Oats. It's also gonna kill him. So, you know. Well, there is 20 of them, but there's really only four things to worry about. The rest of them can just get turned into paste, but it's, uh, it's turned into paste, which is a problem. Oh my god. What is today? It can't just be me that's noticing, but it's worse than usual. To nobody's fault, it's just unlucky. And it always will be just unlucky, but man. Really unlucky today. Oh well. Roll the dice, see what happens. That's how we do it. Uh, that one, please. Wow, I wish I did more. Woo! So that is a good point. We might just be able to scare the unholes to death just from sheer massacre. That'd be cool. That'd work. One day. Don't worry, buddy. One day. Well, that one's kind of dead. Kind of. Um, he's straight running. Right, there goes one. Colgan, if you could, be so kind. Luckiest Beastmaster that ever did live for now. Live for now. What? Wow. This is wild. Like someone turned the difficulty up. Very confusing. But fine. Bring it on, I guess. Your whips have no power here. Well, they might have a bit of power. Uh, uh I mean, that's not going anywhere, is it? Wow, that resounding ting noise meant that did absolutely nothing. Well, he's questioning life. He's still attacking us, though, unfortunately. Even if he is questioning life. Bonk. <laughs> Shields up eventually. They'll run away eventually. Until that day, we I guess we go uh, give him a bit of a slap. 55. There you go. You did it. Good job. Oh, they're ba Rude. That's incredibly rude. How dare you. Now come into your bloody house and start disarming you from your... Well, I do, actually. That's a lie. Let's not continue this conversation. Let's just... Back to fighting. God, stop trying to stun him. Stop trying to make stunning happen. It's not going to happen. 
Okay, now the end of the game is just to make the two un un unarmored unholds run away. You need to stop. So right, where is he? He's still wh out. He's out there in the deep darks of the woods, whipping into the night. Right, I start actually doing damage to his health now, so hopefully that means he's going to start. Please stop hitting all our friends. Oh, terror, buddy. It's okay. You know, I actually prefer this because that means that Die Furious is now three, and I was a little bit worried about him fighting, you know, an unhold. Damn. Terra's not done. He, he's like, put me back in, coach. He didn't hear no bell. Right, look, all your other friends are dead. Mr. Unholds. Just flee. Honest to God, where is he? I'm going to kill my own guys at this rate just from oh, trying to overwhelm them. Sounds insane, but it's actually, you know, a valid, sorry. It is valid. Run away. This unhold needs to quit it. Quit it. He cannot be stopped. Right, where's the whip man? No, seriously, where is he? I can't see him. What hocus pocus bullshit is this? Where is he? No, really. Look, your friend's also dead now. It's just you. Okay, I can hear him out there somewhere. Wherever, wherever that may be. He couldn't have been that far away to be whipping like that. Seriously. No, he's gone. He's off the map now. So we just got to deal with this. Which means uh, probably a lot of armor damage to us, unfortunately. Oh, man. Even, like, surrounded, he's not interested. Oh, he's question marked it. Very good. That gives us at least a turn to deal with it, then. Right. Surround him. Hit him with everything we've got. Just unload completely. It's a good thing that you're also secretly an unhold. They just don't know it. Maybe that's why they came to fight you specifically. Because they could smell it on your skin. No, don't drop him. See? They know. Holy hellfire. Holy hellfire. Well, I mean, I didn't get anything out of it. If anything, we just got a lot of broken bones and a lot of broken armor. Um... But once again, I got some crowns and some furs and some stuff and things. And, you know, we can say we fought four armored unholds in one fight. And uh, nobody died. I mean, there's a lot of injuries, but nobody died. And not dying is half the battle. Right. Up you go. 19 is pretty decent. 114 is also pretty okay. Uh, what are you in terms of 63? So what's that? 16, 31. So you get 10 back. Do it. 72. He is going to be a super shield man after all, so it makes sense. Valny, up you go there. Paul, get replaced by Auric, if you would. Jeez, Louise, it's a field hospital again. We're back to being a field hospital. Uh, I, mean, I guess Avar can go there. Uh, you go there. I am running out of human beings to put on the line. Jeez, Louise. Uh, how are you for that? I think you'll be okay. Although I can always put Jimothy in. I was going to say, oh, maybe I've got him some armor. I have not got him some armor. I'm sorry, you're still a naked man. He's probably fine with it. You know, I'm going to come out and say it. I wouldn't mind if I bumped into a Shrat or a Lindworm right now. I'd happily take it on. Oh, well, one of them on. Just for the potions more than anything. I did just see some tracks. Uh, don't want to fight eight unholds, especially northern ones. I know, I, I know how sick they are. And I don't mean it's in the ill way. I don't think I'm going to be finding Lindworms out here. To be fair, if I want to find Lindworms, I could probably go down south. Um, and Shrats, I could just run around the forest for a bit. Like, honestly, I am literally on the edge of the map. There's nothing here, man. Where is everything? What sort of map seed is this? Come on. Well, it's still absolutely jackal here, but I do always like this event. So, uh, you know. You've come across an unexpected sight at the top of the mountain. A man sitting in a strange and wooden contraption, tilting it toward the edge of a deadly precipice. He's got a scarf over his eyes, pulling it down to talk. Ahoy, strangers! It appears you shall record history, for men govern the common horse to run faster than it knew how. I shall govern birds too. 
Well, we can't ride birds, but I can, as you can see by this machine, simulate them. The shackles of space and time shall be lifted, much like these here wooden wings will lift me into the very skies. Ah, the right brother singular it is. This contraption comes with pedals, wooden spokes, and tarps of very thin and hastily stitched leather. Well, this will be interesting to watch. You step back and let the man take flight. He wraps his face in the scarf and sits in the seat of the machine. With a few long breaths, he pedals it forward. It promptly falls over the edge. The man is hurled through the leather wings like some sort of screaming. <laughs> oh god, sorry. Of some sort of screaming bat, he spins through the device as it explodes down the rock wall in a torrent of wood and poor design. A moment later, you hear the faint din of his final landing spots. Spectacular! What a show! Good show, old Bean. Rest in peace. Well, at least he didn't be like, oh, everyone's content from watching someone explode in a, in a wooden plane. All oh, right, this is mad. Like, I have literally opened this entire map up. Nothing. Not a whiff of anything. Well, ex well, except stuff like that where it's like, that's a bit insane. Okay, so tuning back in after a while, it's probably been like a week in game. I've just been having to deal with like loads of crappy end contracts just to sort of make ends meet. It's been pretty grim, to be quite honest. I don't really know what's happened. It's sort of dried up again. Um, I'm going to reveal what's about to happen. Hello. There is a barbarian king right here with her gold the defiler. So finally, and I'm also out of food. I ate a lot of food. Um, and he's also a barbarian king. But I did drag them slightly to the west because I saw that it was an Isaac company who weirdly has started to run away. So I'm guessing they're terrified of us. But we have now made an okay amount of money. It just took a very long time off screen. And it was just so uneventful. Like, it was quite dull. I just didn't want to show it off. But this, on the other hand, is going to be quite something. And we can get absolutely blasted on money. And we might be friendly with Grimmond. Probably not allied, but pretty close. Let's get stuck in, shall we? It's going to be quite dead. Yeah, I know you're all hungry. I'll feed you when you kill Hergold and his mates, all right? But only if you kill the champion. You've got to kill the champion. It's our kill. It's all pointless if you don't. Basically. This is the reason why I'm kicking around the world now, is to find champions, kill them, take their stuff. Yeah, it's almost like we have a retinue person that makes champions spawn more, and yet, never mind. Oh, is that? I'm guessing that's armor. That felt overkilly. Well, now I've got I've got to get in there because they've gone full ham into him. Shit! This is the one downside to bringing in the army. They'll actually do too good of a job. That man is probably dead. Let's let's face facts here. He is probably dead. But yeah, the reason why I pulled them into the army was because there was like 18 chosen or something? Well, 16 chosen, one barbarian king, and one champion. And I was like, that's a lot of armor to get through, man. I'm not really feeling that. Um, oh, there might be like two reavers. There's like a reaver there, and there's a reaver there. So I guess there's like the odd okay thing. Oh, wow, that was bad. But, you know, since we've got the army, we've got a lot of backliner people on our side. Uh, let's try and move around a bit. Here comes a super adrenaline rush, literally. Uh, maybe not switch in just yet. Maybe get, like, there. That'll probably do. You know, you don't all have adrenaline rush. Well, here's hoping it, like, ruins all of your fatigues, because it really should. I don't think I've ever seen such a huge amount of people use Adrenaline Rush, honestly. You know what? Let's play it safe. Currently, your, your defense is what? 82. Right. It's the best, best chance we've got. 82 defense. A lot of lucky army people out there. Oh, well, him less so. Well, he's alright. He's not. Neither's he. To be fair, I kind of just want them 
they can get, like, mostly killed for all I care. Like, as long as they kill some of the Chosen, that's fine. Sounds mean, but that's just the way this world works, baby. Oh, God, unlucky. Mm, you have made them confident, which is not ideal. Could you maybe not do that? Our little drummer boy's out there as well. Oof. The armor does look pretty cool, though. I don't think I've ever seen famed armor from a barbarian look like that before. So I'll be curious to see what it's like. Hopefully it's not garbage. Literally just garbage glued together. <laughs> Who died? Oh, Bill Man. Not Bill Man. Mr. Bill Man. William Man. Damn it. Uh, come here. Yeah! Eh, alright. Back you go. Are any of them, like, even injured? Yeah! Not as much as I'd like, but yeah! Uh, hold that thought. No, don't break the armor, bro. Ah, oh, Starquart, is it? That's not really a good knight name, if I'm honest. You know, eventually, eventually, Adrenaline Rush is going to knacker them out. Oh, you know, they might get bored of killing each other and just go home. Doubtful. Huh. That was a few heads. Oh, come on, Mr. Sergeant, man. Wow. They're not very good human shields, are they? Well, at least they're not judging me on this one, I guess. I'm not the one killing their men. The barbarians are killing their men. I'm just letting it happen. This is what you get for attacking Care Bod, mate. I get to watch in glory. This loads your men drop their hats. See? Get my vengeance some way, eh? Fine, I'll help. We're all still pretty confident. Except that guy. <laughs> he's he's just dead. Where's King? Oh, just sitting in the back, is he? Kick, kicking back. In his kingly ways. Barbarian kings, man. Let everyone else do the work. Don't... Oh, hello. I instantly take that back. Okay, this has got to be like the last time they can adrenaline rush before they're exhausted. Surely, right? When are you going to bomb out? That guy has not given up. Near death, he has not given up. Good for him. And that's why I didn't get that close yet. If all this day is over, that drummer will die. <laughs> Her gold is not going down that easily, evidently. His army's getting rinsed. Hey, we don't count as getting rinsed. Like, save for as many bodies at the problem as possible, and then walk in and save the victory. This is their recompense. Oi! That's not what recompense means. That one. I mean, they're definitely outnumbered. But all it takes is one swing from one of those guys, and they can kill, like, two of them, so... It is very catch-22 in that regard. As if this guy lived. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I spoke literally just at the wrong time. That's very unfortunate for that guy. Uh, yeah, attack the bad guys. We're not the bad guys in this regard. Both your sides are. I'll take no further questions. Oh, man. There we go. Let's see him. Can't hit a fly. All right. There goes another one. Could say the same about their team. Is it time to get in? I don't know. 
This man has killed a lot of people today. He probably feels pretty great. Okay, now is probably the time we should probably start making a move. Because they're going to start swarming. Again, in a way. That was a hell of a shot. Okay, time to get involved. Not like that. Let it be known, that was a bad miss. He is really not done yet. If anything, I've brought him like loads of people to murder and he's like, thanks? Thanks for bringing me such pleasure, I guess. Weird. All right, well, okay, fine. What was that? I shot someone else. What are you talking about? I didn't know such a thing. Okay, here we go. He is still confident. Very much so, actually. Uh, am I going to be able to run the gauntlet to even get there? I get there. Um, hang about. Back off, will you? I need to get a man on the on the field. Jeez, Louise! Like, there's barely any of them left, and they're still like, I didn't hear no bell. It's like, no, you didn't. But come on, it's over, surely. It's going out in style. I can respect that. Yeah, Barbarian King's done. All right. Right, we've got to get... We've got, we've got to go. Like, go. Full steam ahead. I mean, yeah, keep stunning them, I guess. Shot to death by Raz. Man, that guy is still confident. I'm just saying, he's still confident. Right, that gives us the momentum now. We've got to get... We've got to pull people out everywhere but which so we can get in there. There, uh, go. I don't care about the other guy, just go. Move. Excuse me, make way, coming through. Um, important business to be had here. Just surround him at any means. Can I not start killing them instead? Don't do it. You, go away. That's fine. Take that. Oh, Auric, you lifesaver. You absolute lifesaver. Got the kill on the champ. That's all that mad in that fight. Everything else is just a payday at the end of the day. <laughs> well, hey, guys. Thanks for helping out and uh, sacrificing your lives to do that for us. Uh, but we will be taking the spoils of war. Thank you very much. Holy hellfire. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yoink. Well, thanks, Isaac Company. You could have done a bit better, though. <laughs> I'll stop being a dick now. Uh, well, you did see one of the next one. I don't know how much better it is, though. I, I mean... Hmm. Literally a tank man. Tank man. I'll fix it first. But you did say you wanted the next big boy armor, I suppose. Although, I suppose if you don't want it, I could just give it to Bigler. Jesus Christ, what is that? What is this being of pure girth? Okay. Food for port. Let's head back and put this in. Additionally, a little birdie also told me about some treasure north of Hellestead, so I kind of have to go and have a look. I, I have to. It It's in my nature to go and look. It's adventure awaits. Or, you know, death. We'll see.
Okay, well, it's still an amount. I guess the amount isn't as bad as the last one, but we are by ourselves instead of, you know, a group of helper bees and meat shields, which were very okay meat shields, but they weren't like the cream of the crop meat shields. Need to shock better for our meat shields, but, you know, they were passable. Stand there. That's one. Out of 18. Good lord. Gotta get a drop on them, like, now. And try and kill as many of them as we can, like, now. Maybe not. You get there as... Okay, not bad. He's not dead, though, is he? Now he is. That is more acceptable. In you go. Uh, like a guess, go there. See what you do. Right, he's bleeding through his face, which is preferable. He might actually just bleed out, actually. That's good. It's done. Uh, you know what? Let's get him. Let's get him. It's probably for the best. He did bleed out. He did bleed out. Three down in the first round. That's that's something. Let's see if we get through all the... That's what I was going to be annoyed about. Wow. Well, he's not dead. But he's, uh, he's really not doing all too great, unfortunately. I don't know if he's going to survive. Uh... That one, please. Right, he's dead. Good stuff. Hmm. Sure, that one. 54. He's... R At least he's running. Well, you're recovering your health. So you... Hmm. That's only a 10% chance to hit, though. Uh, I think he might be dead for real this time. God damn it. We'll see. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he can just put him back in, champ. But I suppose worst comes to worst, I guess. That might be that. But he did get a fair few kills. Oh my god. I mean, we're all missing now. No, except, except, except Bigler. Am I? Oh, I was like, where's the enemy? Enemies everywhere. Oh god. A1. You're dead. You're basically dead. Switch. Good dodge. Uh hmm, could have worked. Oh god. Right, you're off. You're off as well. You're dead. You're stunned. Perfect. That's a shame. See, now everything's a little bit more okay, I guess. He says very, uh, quizzically. I think it's okay. Can't even see that guy. Weird. Oh, eventually it had to happen, I guess. Oh, man. Hit, please. I guess I'll take that back. Who is... Come on, don't all your friends dying make you feel some sort of sadness? No? Okay. Oh, but, but, but to be fair, the drummer boys are sticking around. Oh, God. Did you actually get stunned? Or are you fine? Wait, you can't get stunned, can you? 50% chance to resist. You basically can't get stunned. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. We've missed everything. That's better. You've got quite a lot of kills in this fight. I mean, you needed them, to be fair. Now, but now they run. Now they see the violence inherent in the system. Just give up, bro. No? Alright. I tried to be nice. I tried I tried to be nice about it. Look, I did. It's not my fault that they did not want to give up. You got killed by the backliners. Nice. I think I'm good here. Well, except the Valny dying part. He might still be okay. He might still be okay. Oh my god, he's still okay. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna help. The partly collapsed long as well. Bloody hell, man. Bloody hell. And there's not even anything famed here. There's just a few things. A few level ups and a bit more experience. Damn, man. Even the locations have been crap today. Okay, well, I'm gonna head back to Weidzik. And then we'll get back to Kerbon and heal up and do a few things. Because, wow, it's been a bit of a day for, ro for just... The difficulty of the game. I just... Don't know where it's stemming from today. Okay, let's head back to Carebot. We have got our payday, and wow, 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 do we have a payday? There's probably some money le left at Carebot as well. We've been it's, we've been gone for a few days. Who are you? Eh, not interested. Not really. There might be some good training for some of that. Who are you? Not interested. Come on, champions. Where are you, man? Like, honestly, do your job, Mr. Bounty Hunter, please. Yeah, back to 31. But, I mean, we're over 30k. Like, I don't think we've ever been over 30k. And we're about to be over a little bit more, because I'm going to sell everything that we had gotten. Let's have a look. How much is there? Yeah, like a grand. That's great. I'll grab some food. I'll grab some of that. Grab all of these bad boys, because I will be needing them. I might as well just grab a stack of those anyway. And let's get everything sold. There's nothing famed here. That's a shame. Oh, yeah. Sell the thousand gold for 224 crowns. Yeah, that makes sense, game. <laughs> no. How about I don't do that? Right. Wow, 33k. Let's have a look at a Fletch quickly. Nothing famed. Okay. I've seen, like, I saw, like, a bow earlier that was, like, fame, but it didn't really do much in terms of, like, the numbers. Uh, did I see someone leveled up? Breeze got to level 14, 88. That's fine. Let's get him to a straight 100 initiative. We'll get him to 93 on that. That's cool. Great. Well, still need to decide who to give this to. I probably was going to give it to Colgan just because he did ask for a better armor with less fatigue. But it did also look devilishly, devilishly delightful on Bigler. But he is getting smacked quite a bit. But also, it would give him an extra 108 armor, I guess, for about the same fatigue. So I'm a little bit in two ways. I just realized I had that figure. There you go. Sell that as well. Right, well, let's get, uh, you know what, I am going to buy Northern's Big Shag Wagon, so let's buy that. Big Shag Wagon acquired. Now, how much is it actually to upgrade Careboard next, and is it disgusting? Oh, it's it's only 20k again. So it's not 30k, it's 20k. I mean, I was expecting it to, like, incrementally grow, to be honest, so that's actually not too bad. And I've still got 14k left over. Um, but before I upgrade Carebot again, I probably am going to add, like, all the locations and all the buildings. So I've got one more building slot, and I've got two more location slots for the time being. Um, so we do have a bit of a choice to make in terms of that. And I can still build some settlements. It would cost, like, what, 15, 25? It costs 35k to build all the roads. And then, like, let's say 45... 55, maybe like 55 plus upgrading this is 75. I need 75k to do everything that I'd wanted, which is not a small amount of money, I suppose. But I guess we'll try and find some of that money next time, as I am going to leave it there for today. Nobody technically died, although Valium might tell you otherwise, because he's slowly picking up a lot of permanent injuries. But hey, the cultist prevails, and it seems that he's always going to prevail for the time being, so good for him. Anyway, let's have a look at the old Rokol. So, Alwyn, you're on 195 kills. Furious, you're on 7 kills. Bigelet, you're on 49 kills. I think you picked up, like, 3 in the last fight. 
Paul, you're on 99 kills, one off glory. Centurius, you're on 124 kills. Auric, you're on 39 kills. Valny, you're on 29 kills. Albertus, you're on 222 kills. Raz, you're on 131 kills. Poker, you're on 231 kills. Breeze, you're on 167 kills. Diarmut, you're on 261, so that's... It's going to be pretty close, but it might be Diarmut. Avarg, you're on 16, not bad. Daemonax, you're on 61. Terra, you're on 94, also not far from 100. Nahe Nehemiah, you're on 38. Cyril, you're on 170. Naked Jimothy, you're on 5. <laughs> Naked Jimothy, that's what they call him. Pixel, you're on 16. And Colgan, you're on 196. I think Diarma is in a lead of 261, 231. Yeah, I think there's a few people in the 200s, but they're not at that range just yet. But they are slowly creeping up to the armor's level. So he better watch out, because Poker and Albertus are right behind him. Although I suppose Maximus and also Michael might have something to say about that. But like I say, I'm going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more in there that you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you can't wait until the next time we go out with the shows, feel free to join the Discord linked into the description below. Other than that, it is going to be ciao for now from me, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the shows.